All right, guys, I want to show you guys a position off our same side sleeve and near side ankle control. So right from here, when I'm playing De La Hiva, and I got this near side sleeve, I got the near side ankle, I'm sending his base out. Now from here, let's say he starts posturing up and breaks his grip here. Go ahead, break that grip, boom. If he breaks that grip here, I don't want to get caught on my back with no grips on his upper body, right? Because now he's gonna start pushing my legs down, maybe working Toriandos and all that good stuff. So whenever I'm here and he starts posturing up and he breaks his grip here, I'm gonna come up with him here and I hug the leg right away. Now I try my best, let's turn this way here. I'm gonna try my best here to keep my right foot glued inside that thigh. Now before he can start you know, pushing this foot down, what I'm gonna look to do here is reach for the near side collar. I'm gonna open it up here. As I open it up, I'm gonna pass the tail end of the collar to my left hand, just like this. So as I pass the tail end of the lapel to my left hand here, I'm gonna to fall towards the left hip. As I fall towards the left hip here, guys, I'm gonna to look to pass the grip off to my right hand. Now when I pass the grip off to my right hand here, I wanna make sure I have my grip pointing towards me, so my thumb pointing towards me. So my form's on the outside of his knee. At the same time, as I drop down, I'm gonna bring my right shin and knee to the outside of his leg here and cross my feet. When I cross my feet here, guys, I make sure that my left leg, the bottom leg's gonna cross on top here. So now my right leg is gonna be super glued on the outside of his knee. The reason why I wanna glue my shin and knee to the outside of his knee, so this way he can't turn and face me. The only option he has here is to try to back step. So when he goes to back step here, I'm gonna be ready for it. I'm gonna use my left hand to block his leg from stepping over my body. Now, once I block that leg here, guys, I make a grip at the base of the pants. Now from here, I'm gonna let go of the lapel, and I'm gonna reach for the middle of the pants here, right up and grab right below the belt. Once I grab right below the belt here, around the pants, I'm gonna unlock my feet, and I'm gonna pull myself closer towards his backside. One, and then two. Now from here, I'm gonna pull him over my right shin here. As I pull him over here, guys, I pull him towards his back. I'm gonna lift. Now I'm gonna lift my right leg here so I can pummel my left leg underneath. Now once I swim the left leg underneath here, I replace my right leg with my left leg here as I pull his leg across my hip, his left leg. Now I'm gonna come up towards my right knee. As I come up here, I'm gonna reach over the top of his body with my left hand. Look for that far collar, pull myself up to the top position here. Now I end up in a really good leg drag, uh, leg drag spot to start passing his guard. If he starts bailing away towards turtle, I can start attacking the back here. We got a lot of options there. So again, we're gonna start again playing De La Hiva. I got the near side sleeve and the near side ankle control. From here, he goes to posture up and break this grip here. I'm gonna sit up with him here. Once he breaks that grip here, guys, I take the near side lapel and I pull it straight down. As I pull it straight down, I'm gonna to fall towards my left hip here as I pass the grip off. As I pass the grip off here, I lock my knee and shin around the outside here, and I cross my feet here. So now if he tries to turn into me, try to turn to me, he can't face me. His only option is to try to back step and clear all the way through. So my left hand's ready, and I block it. If he doesn't move, I can just move myself over towards his leg until I can grab it. But in my experience, most people try to step over. Once I grab his leg here, I can let go of the lapel, reach up and grab the middle of the pants here. Once I get my strong grip, I unlock the feet and I pull myself deeper underneath his back here. And I'm gonna pull him over my shin. Once I pull him over, I lift, switch the legs out as I sit up, pulling his leg across my hip. Now my left hand's gonna let go. I'm gonna reach over for the far collar, thumb in. Pull my elbow in tight, open up to my right knee. Now I can pull him in tight towards me. I can look to solidify my side control or if he bails away, which most people bail away from here, I can slide my right hook in pull him back over and take the back right from this position.